Hello, I'm Patrick with Lone Wolf Software, and this is part of our Contact Wolf series, help series. Today we're going to show you how to configure the email engine in Contact Wolf so you can send uh, bulk or mass emails. Now, Contact Wolf has a couple of options. You can use your email client, whichever email client you're using on your computer. That's usually the default when you initially install Contact Wolf. So when you try to send an email that, um, in Contact Wolf, it'll just automatically open your email client everything will be addressed. You just type in your message and send it. Another option in Contact Wolf is very powerful is it has a built-in mass email engine so you can very quickly send literally thousands of emails through Contact Wolf and you can configure it to use any of the email servers that you have access to. So right now on your screen you see Contact Wolf and I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to do this. It's a pretty, pretty simple thing to do. So the first thing you need to do is go to the Preferences menu Email Options and then you can see there's an option that says send email from Contact Wolf using. Now right now we have uh, Contact Wolf email engine selected. You could also have the computer's email client selected. You just select this one if you want to use your email client. And we'll go ahead and do that real fast and I'll show you how that works. So you just select that option. Now if you chose choose an email address, we'll choose one here for this record. Click this little mail button. In this case, in this computer we're using Windows Live Mail and you see that it opens up your email client. Everything's been addressed. I have a signature that's already in there and then you would just fill out your subject and your text message and click send and you're ready to go. So that's one option, that's using your default email client in Contact Wolf. But what we really want to do today is show you how to use the built-in email engine. So the first thing to do is go to preferences, email options, send email from Contact Wolf using and then select the Contact Wolf email engine. Now that's selected but you still have to configure it. So that's again a very simple thing to do. Select Preferences again, Email Options, then the Configure option, Configure Contact Wolf Email Engine. Select that, you have a little window here that you can see. Just have to fill out some of the uh, server details for the email server that you're going to send the email through. Now you can use almost any email server. I mean, if you have access, if you have an IP or a, if you have an internet account, you probably have an email server for your internet uh, company that's hosting your site or hosting your account or you can use Gmail, Hotmail, pretty much anything. What's key really is that you get the, the correct email configuration settings from your host for whatever, whatever hosting email account you're using. You can usually do that just by going to whatever company's hosting hosting you or in case of Gmail you just go to Google and you can look up the, the uh, email settings, email server settings and it'll tell you what to do. Today we'll just go ahead and configure it for a Gmail account. So the outgo, outgoing email server SMTP is usually something like SMTP dot the server name. So in this case it would be SMTP oops, dot gmail dot com. So that's simple enough. There's a server for Gmail. Um, you want to put in your email address. Um, in this case we'll just put in Patrick at gmail dot com. It's just so you have a reply address. Of course I misspelled Gmail. Not the best typist. And most servers do require authentication, so it just means you have to enter your username and password. In this case, the username is patrick at gmail.com. And the password, of course, I'm not going to give you that password, but your password could be anything. Whatever your password is, you've put it in there. Now, the other thing you have to sometimes worry about is the outgoing SMTP port. Now for Gmail, I believe it's 467. The default here is set at 25, and that works with most email servers, but it's possible that if you get a failed uh, message when you test it, you click this test email button, usually it's the, it's the port, and you just have to go to your, again, you just have to go to Gmail, Google, or whatever email server you're using, and they'll usually specify the port that you need to use. I believe for Gmail, it's 467. So you just type that in. And the next thing you would do is just click this test email button. And I'm not going to do it now because I don't have my password in here and actually this is a fictitious account. But just click the test email button and it'll, sh it'll show you a little message on your screen that says message sent successfully. Um, and it'll just send a little test message and it'll tell you if it's, if it's successful. If it's not successful, it'll say that it's not successful and you're going to have to change something. You'll have something wrong. And usually, as I said, it's the SMT port. But sometimes people put in some of the, uh, the username is wrong, they forget their username or they forget their password for that particular email account because some hosting companies you might have a different password to log on to your 
your web your website you may have a different password for your email server so these are the this is the information that you have to find out to uh, to enter it here and once you have that information entered correctly you'll find that contact wolf is very very fast at sending your emails and then basically after you have this this window configured just click OK and you're ready to go it's, you're using the contact wolf email engine the next thing to do is if you want to send a bunch of um, mass emails or you want to send more than one multiple emails to let's say you have a Christmas list you want to send Christmas greetings to your friends and family you would just simply go into contact wolf and select the names that you want for instance you could create a Christmas list by creating a group here and then you could just select names add them to the group and then send all the email messages out to that one group it's very quick to do but today we'll just simply click the tag all button and you can see it's tagged the records under currently listed under A and let's say you want to go to B you can click the tag all button again so we have all these records now listed under B to also tagged and if you click this show button here you'll see all the records that you cur currently have tagged and then basically you would just click this email button right here and it says 13 recipient email addresses found and added continue yes now in this case you might see and this might happen to you you might have less email addresses ready to go or ready to be sent to than you actually selected and the reason for that is some of your some in this case some of the names that we have in this very this is just a sample database don't have an email address so of course if you select the name to send an email to and it doesn't have a valid email address in contact wolf that you entered it's just going to skip it so some of these email addresses I selected they just don't have an email address but 13 of them did have a valid email address so you just click the yes button Oh, and in this case, the server wasn't, we didn't enter the password, so the server wasn't configured correctly. So let me go back and enter that. So you can see it finds, if there's a problem, it'll find it and tell you what it is. So we're just going to put in password. Click OK. Now we should be able to send the email. So we go through this again. Now you can see the email window. And here are all the addresses that have been selected, and this is where the email that you send here will all go to these particular addresses that have been selected. You have some options in here. Use actual name for contact record. That means it'll just go into each each address that you have selected and actually put the name of the contact at the top of the the message. Um, you can add some additional email addresses here that you didn't select by just typing in this box. You can add another email address and name added here to add it to this list. Here, of course, you just put in the subject. In this case, we'll just say Merry Christmas. And, of course, add your message. It's that simple. Happy Holidays. And everything, you're really ready to go. Now, you can also, of course, I misspelled this. Um, you can also do some formatting to this bold it and I mean the, these all these all these options down here are just basically things you can do to add something to the text that's how let's make it uh, red and you can choose of course a different font there we go that's a little bit large but you get the idea and then it's as simple as pressing this uh, clicking on the send button and your messages will be sent and this message will be addressed to each and every recipient and they'll get the message and if you chose this option up here to use the actual name their name will be added to the beginning of the email message and all the messages will be sent very quickly so you can see that um, using the contact wolf email engine is very very fast very uh, easy to do and basically you just want to make sure you have it uh, the, the email server information configured, fig, configured correctly and you're ready to go and that's it for today uh, thanks for listening and look for more help uh, help videos from us uh, in the future for contact well thank you